We're interested in identifying intraclonal populations uh, uh, within uh, CLL patients um, that differ not from uh, not based on genetic abnormalities, uh, but re really based on functional differences. And the functional differences have to do with time since last replication. So in other words, time since the cell has been born. Um, and we divide these uh, populations based on uh, surface membrane expression of markers that indicate time since last replication. Um, and essentially what we find is that uh, CLL cells go through a um, a life cycle, if you will. Um, they're born, like uh, all of us. Uh, they become uh, adolescents and middle-aged uh, cells and then eventually older cells, which um, if they are not able to uh, go to a solid tissue niche, will actually die. Uh, however, unlike the rest of us, if they actually can get to these solid tissue niches, they can survive and um, at least live long periods of time and maybe even start that cycle over again. So then have the cell essentially divide again, give birth again to a new daughter cell, and that cell would then go through the same transition of adolescence, middle age, and, and old age. So what we notice is that depending on the age, if you will, of the cell, um, its biology is very different. Uh, and therefore, if you want to eliminate all cells of the clone, you really want to try and identify cells that are at these different ages. Uh, so young cells, for example, are much more susceptible to certain kinds of treatments than would be cells in middle age or cells that are older. Uh, probably the most striking example would be old cells are, uh, are required to get back to tissue niches for survival signals. And if they don't do that, they will die. So if you inhibit the ability of these cells to traffic to niches, um, then they just die in the circulation. And one of the effects of ibrutinib, for example, and idelalisib is actually to prevent that, to prevent the ability to get back to tissue. Um, so those two drugs, for example, are very effective at blocking that portion of the life cycle. They're also very good at uh, killing cells at the beginning of the life cycle. So um, the, both of those drugs block the division uh, if you will, and the life of the cell right after cell division. Um, so a young cell that's just born uh, is extremely susceptible, again, to uh, ibutinib and What we're focusing on now is actually the cells kind of in the middle uh, that represent, in a way, the, the majority of the clone that we see in a patient uh, and that have uh, vulnerabilities that are different than the two extremes. Uh, um, and I think what the ideal um, medication or combination of medications would be uh, drugs or antibodies, for example, that would inhibit all three life uh, stages, if you will, of a CLL cell.